Hey everyone, Regal Reviews here. So I am extremely late making this video. I usually make my winter picks video long in advance, but I procrastinated. So this video is going to be about who I think will win Survivor Island of the Idols. So my first pick, I think Chelsea will do well. Um, what drew me to her is that in her bio on CBS.com it said that she knows what it's like to be the underdog and on the bottom so I feel like she could be one of those that relates to people well and she might possibly um, be the leader of an underdog alliance she might be able to take the I, w I don't want to say the weaklings of the tribe but maybe the ones who aren't on the vote so I definitely think um, Chelsea would do well. I just felt like I connected with her that way. Um, my next pick would have to be Elizabeth. Um, just the fact that she is um, a former Olympian, I feel like she already has that edge that she'll do really well in the physical challenges. I feel like she'll be able to relate to people well. And I feel she, just from seeing her um, her video, it looks like She'll be well liked around camp. Like she won't want to. She won't be one of those ones that are annoying off the back, and you want to get off right away. I feel like she'll get along with everyone. Um, my next pick would have to be Molly. Um, Molly, I feel like is going to be one of the women we look at this season, and what I mean by that is, I feel like she's going to be one of the people who aren't an obvious threat but is kind of like the strategic mastermind and is one of the basically like a parvity I feel like Molly's going to be the parvity like she's all fun can get along with everyone but she's actually has her own power alliance it's been very hinted that um, the women that there's going to be there's a lot of talk in the survivor community that possibly there'll be um, a strong female alliance this season. So that will be very interesting to see if that is true, if um, there'll be a female winner. Because we haven't had one of those in a while. Um, my final pick would have to be Dean. There's something about him that makes me think he'll do well. Now, normally I would pick somebody like Ronnie, but... With Dean, he just seems to have that attitude. Like he's a salesman, so I feel like he'll be able to make pitches to people well. Like, oh, let's get this person off. No, I like your idea, but this is what I think we should do. I think he'll be very persuasive. I'm not sure if he'll be like a physical threat. He might, again, be one of the strategic people that is really good at the social game and is very strategic. I feel like even though he might be in a jam like some people are I feel like he'll be able to talk his way out of it my wild card pick and I have two of them this season my wild card pick is Jack I feel like he's either going to do really well or really bad um, depending on I feel like he's either going to be very likable like Fabio or he's going to rub people the wrong way and make an enemy right off the bat like Cole um, I also like Vince. I feel like he'll do well. I already He's already an underdog going into Survivor, but I feel like he's going to be well-liked around camp. But to me, he seems like he's going to be like Zeke and Cochran. Like he's just going to be the underdog of the season, and it would just be a true underdog story if he could pull off a win. So I'm really excited for this season, and I hope you guys are too. Um I hope you guys enjoy the premiere. I'll be watching it after because the Wi-Fi of my iPad doesn't let me watch it until after it's over because I haven't recorded. So I'll be making my first recap video of the season. So that'll be fun. So I hope you guys enjoy the season of Survivor. I mean the season premiere of Survivor. And until next time, stay regal.